You guys ever had somebody say, you know, hey, don't, don't push me. Don't push me, man, don't push me. It's funny, I had a woman yesterday that I was talking to her and, you know, it's, it's kind of sad because a lot of times people, their biggest problem that they have, typically they act out on you, right? So if their biggest problem is like setting boundaries with potential clients or existing clients, once you try to set a boundary, they're going, oh, 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 oh don't, don't push me, don't push me, right? So I spoke to this woman and um, you know, this will be a good illustration for you on how to think about closing at the end of a call. Cause you know, what most people do is they they get to the end of the call with the client and then they just say, all right, well, you know, whether it's for a cleanup or it's for monthly recurring accounting or tax planning or tax prep, it doesn't really matter. They typically just say, okay, well, what, what, here's the thing. We're gonna send you an invoice, right? Or we're gonna send you an engagement letter or we're gonna send you a proposal. Proposal's the worst, right? And so, you as the salesperson on the call you kind of prompt the next steps okay so you prompt some series of actions that delays the process if you would just ask them now if they're ready to get started then they might be ready to get started they might not but here's the key the reason why it's so important to try to close the sale on the call is not because we care about the money who cares about the money right it's about is this person really committed? The money is just a sign of the yes. It's a sign of the commitment. If somebody says yes, that's not a yes. If somebody signs an engagement letter, that's not a yes. If somebody looks at the invoice, that's not a yes. It is not a yes until that payment information has been submitted, okay? And it's really truly not a yes until the cash is collected in the bank, which on, on a credit card, typically same day, right? Uh, you can actually see the payment clear, but on an ACH, sometimes it can take a couple of days before it really actually clears, okay? So towards the end of the call, what do you do, okay? And this is kind of what I would recommend you do. Um, yeah, okay, I guess so. You know, does this sound like something that you do want to do? They say, yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds good. Okay. So, I guess is, is that a yes? They say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they might say at this point, well, I gotta talk to my spouse or blah, 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 blah. All these things, okay? And then you say, or let's say they say yes, right? Yeah. And you say, okay, great. Um, yeah, so for the payment, we do Visa, Amex, MasterCard, Discover. Or you could say, okay, great. Um, that's one way to do it, right? If you've already gone through all that. The way that I typically do it, is I'll say, yeah, I guess, do you have your calendar in front of you? And then they'll say, yep. And then you say, okay, um, how does Tuesday at 2 p.m. work? And they're like, all right, that works great. And then I say, okay, um, did you did you get that calendar invite? I just sent it to you. And they're like, yeah, I got it. And then I'm like, Okay, um, and I also sent you the agreement. Did you get that too? Uh, yeah, I got that too. Uh, uh, do you want me to fill this out right now? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. So you wanna be prepared, okay? Whether you're gonna accept the payment information on the phone, whether you're gonna send the agreement, sometimes you can have the payment information in the agreement. You've got to either get the payment information on the phone or you've gotta send them the agreement where they put the payment information in and they read the agreement with you on the phone, right? They read the engagement letter on the call. The reason why that's so important is because, you know, if they then say, well, I, I really need to talk this over with my spouse, right? Or I need a little bit of time to think about it or I need to make a transfer or whatever, right? Here's where you start to go through the process, okay. So are you 100% and you just need to let your spouse, business partner know or are you still thinking about it? Okay. Okay, so you're 100%. And I guess what do you think they would say? Okay, so and when do you think you'll get a chance to talk it over with them and make a final decision one way or the other? Okay, right after the call. So I guess, would we be able, when would you, so we'd be able to know, I guess, by 5 p.m. today. Okay. Is there any reason why, I guess, we won't be able to know by 5 p.m. today? 
Okay. So let's just set a check-in for 5 p.m. and then we'll go from there. I just sent you the calendar invite for that. Did you get it? Okay. And is there any reason why you won't be able to make that call? And so people consider that pushy, right? I mean, you know, it's so funny. Because I was telling people, I'm like, look, I mean, you know, this, this woman, I told her the same thing. I said, if you consider that pushy, I said, I mean, honestly, if, if the answer is a no, like, you can just end the call right here. Like, I'm totally fine with that. I mean, if you would have told me no, then that's great. Hey, go our separate ways. But if you say you do want to do it and you do want to make a decision today and everything, then we, it's just kind of the process, right? And so, but here's the thing. You know, her biggest challenge was setting boundaries with clients, showing the value, getting them to make a decision. Hey, you can see right there. Look at So beautiful. You can see down here, I always, you know, whenever I, I stay home every every once in a while for a little bit, it's just so beautiful. You can see these boats and everything. Sometimes in the far outside, you can actually see, you know, cruise ship go across or, or a big tanker. But, um, so you've got to set your boundaries. Like, just ask the simple questions. If they want to do it, go through. Does it sound like something they want to do? Are they 100% or are they still thinking about it? What are the specific things that are standing in their way? When will they make a final decision? Get the commitment and go forward. And so here, here's the key reason to wrap this all up, okay? And the reason why this is so important. The first call is really a mirror of the entire client relationship, right? So whenever you're requesting files, whenever you're you know, trying to meet a deadline, whenever you need something from them, whenever you need payment down the line, if they're, the way that they treat you in this moment is an exact reflection of how they're gonna treat you later. And so you wanna make sure, if you're gonna be an advisor, right? If you're just gonna be like, oh, okay, Mr. Entrepreneur, please let me serve you and let me do your tax preparation. Oh, please, oh, you're so awesome. And you just let me just, if I could just get in there and do a 1040, I would just love you so much, right? If you're, if you're sort of like have that kind of servant mentality as opposed to you're an advisor, right? Where you're actually advising their business and they are looking up to you and you are giving them advice, right? Where you are in that alpha role. If that's what you wanna be, then you've gotta be firm on your process because if they won't work on your process in the beginning, they're not gonna work on your process later. And it's just gonna to lead to all sorts of problems. So um, if this has been helpful, if you think this is something that you wanna do a little bit more of, you wanna be a little bit more intentional, you wanna be able to take more of that alpha role, you wanna be more direct, you wanna set better boundaries from the beginning and all the way through the client relationship, I put an application right below this video. You'll uh, be able to apply. We work with people over the course of a year. Um, incredible presentation that we give to people when they think about working with us. And so um, it'll take about an hour um, when you go through and apply. But literally now, we, we, we used to work with anybody. Now about 60% of people that apply, we don't even call. We say, oh, this person's not a good fit, boom. And so if we do call you, that's because we think you're a good fit. And we review every application and every single person's LinkedIn profile before they actually talk to any of us. And so you'll see an amazing presentation about, you know, this, I talked today about setting boundaries on the call. There'll be a lot of other things we go over, client acquisition, conversion, how to retain clients and, and get them to pay more year over year. Uh, we'll go through the whole process of what it's like to work with us. And you know, even if you don't end up working with us, you're gonna walk away with a ton of great information. So I'm gonna go ahead and post this video and I will see you on the other side.